Well, welcome to another Friday Night Disaster Report. Doing a little more tinkering here. Been super busy. Haven't had time to do any video or anything like that. But anyways, getting lots done. Got lots to do. Take you on a little tour of some of the jobs we're working on. Some of the new stuff that showed up around here that uh, had for a while. It just hasn't. <laughs> we hadn't got it here. Same as a lot of my stuff. But anyways, uh, we'll show you what uh, some of the new projects are in the future and what we're working on now so anyways I'll take you for a little flight around here and uh, got the machine shop rearranged a little bit maybe we'll show you that and uh, anyways we got uh, got the surface grinder down the end there and then the brake lathe the small bandsaw and the parts washer up here and got uh, the tool shelf down at the end there and I uh, got the Hudson moved over a little bit. We got big plans to get back to work on it. Hasn't happened yet, but uh, hopefully not too distant future. And the big job working on right now is this bus. It's got a 6.5 in it. Uh, warped heads, blown head gasket, pressuring up cooling system, all the good stuff. So we got the heads off it, and that's a chore and a half. And if the battery goes dead, uh, that's where the video will end because it looks like we're getting low on juice here but anyways you gotta go inside here and you can't really see there but anyways that's where you gotta get the heads off from way in under the dash there from inside so that's just a whole nother, another level of fun and excitement and we towed this one in the other day it was supposed to be a crank and no start with possible cam sensor problem but it uh, it's looking like uh, variable valve timing cam solenoids or actually what the problem is but it doesn't crank so we gotta get that sorted out and of course it's one of them auto cranks you just touch the key and it cranks so far we got it to click but we haven't spent any more time on it to go further anyways here is the latest arrival of the Tri-R Services stable this is a 75 Datsun 620 pickup truck which aside from the box, it's actually got the original box, which is in pretty good shape. Got a little rust hole in it, but the tailgate's just about mint. The inside's real nice. Got some moss in it, but that's about it. It's been sitting for 30 years. 30 years, yeah. 88. That make it 30 years. Last time it was licensed, as far as I know. But it's all complete, original. Air cleaner's missing off it, but I'm thinking we probably can find that. Anyways, it is... My first truck I ever had on the road when I was 16 was a 77 Datsun 620. It had a wooden box built on it and it was a rust bucket. But I run it for a year, had a lot of fun with it. Made enough money working on the farm to run the truck. Don't think I come ahead any, but anyways, had lots of fun doing it. And I've always wanted another one. So I found this one a year ago and uh, made it mine through some wheeling and dealing and uh just finally got it towed over here yesterday night just before all well, just a dark i guess we finally got her on the tow truck she was deep in the dirt and everything but we got some tires on it to hold air and one end and this pile of dirt here and dirt still underneath there all fell out of this suspension on this side it was so much dirt it frozen in there that the tire wouldn't even go in the saddle on the wheel lift we actually strapped the truck to the wheel lift but anyways she seems to be stuck but I got the plugs out they don't look too bad looks like it might have been a little bit of moisture in a couple cylinders but uh, anyways I sprayed a bunch of good stuff in there and we're gonna put her in gear here and give her a push see if we can get her turn over and go from there it needs quite a bit of well it actually doesn't need a lot of body work front fenders are rusted out and rocker panels and probably a little bit of the kick panel and floor and stuff there where it, they always do. Anyways, let's go outside here for a second. We got about four inches of snow last night, freezing rain, so she was good times. Still is. Traffic's still going pretty slow on the highway. Anyways, uh, that Miss Massey over there, she doesn't want to start from me. I don't know, i got to push it inside see what's going on not firing and uh, an old cock shot he's running good and uh, anyways and of course the middle toe 
is still performing. Big toe still sitting over there. I'm thinking of putting a, a rollback deck on that one, tell you the truth. If I can find one for the right price. Anyways, you can see we still got lots of vehicles to work on. Got the engine half pulled out of this one. But it's got to wait until I get back in the shop. Of course, got to do a transmission on that one before Christmas. This one's ready to go. Well, not really, but they want to do the rest of the work on it. They haven't come paid for it yet, so there she sets. That one we're putting a cam phaser to lead in. And of course, uh, the pole truck is still being a pole truck. And I uh, haven't confirmed a name on it yet. I'm thinking I might call it the Tadpole, just for fun. Because it's not really a tow truck. And with uh, the way that hood is, they kind of look like a frog. So I'm thinking it might be the Tadpole. And the customer says we're going to go ahead on that. Ford over there that needs a 5.4 in it sitting here for four years and he says we're he's going to come up with the money and we're going to do it so I guess we will when we do or he does or something these are the other two latest arrivals they were actually in the same deal as the little Datsun they're versatile 145s it's a couple different years I'm not sure they built them from I think 67 to 71 and they got uh, 145 horse uh, four, 470 cubic inch. They're a little brother to the triple nickel Cummins anyways. Uh, both of them got issues. Uh, you run them till they seized them, kind of. One of them, the other one we're not too sure. But anyways, they're uh, cute little tractors for around here. They're big some places, but they're small nowadays. Articulated, four-wheel drive, of course. This one here actually there are enough tires around to make to put duels on it. It used to have duels on it. And if you look in there, you can see that she's still set up with the eye bolts to, uh, to put the duels back on her with the spacers. And this one here has got the fat tires on it instead. And uh, they're just pull tractors. There's no PTOs on them. They're supposed to have been an accessory for PTOs, but anyways. We'll walk out here and give you a little bit better view of them. Maybe. No idea. No. Energy conservation officers decided the snow was a good time of year. He runs outside, plays in the snow, and then comes up to the door and sticks his nose in the exhaust port and whines. And then you let him in, he turns around two minutes later and runs back outside. But, uh, uh, he's a dog, what can you do? Anyways, he's still keeping an eye on quality control and conserving as much energy as possible. So holding up his end of the job. Murphy the cat's in there somewhere. But, uh... She's keeping the mouse rodent overall problems solved around here. A little bit of a pest and tends to like to bite people, but yeah, as long as you don't bite the customers, I guess. She's doing her job, otherwise she'd have been down the road. And oh, there's a blazer over there that uh, if you follow on Facebook, you would have seen the what we done to it there. And I'll give you a little peek here before the battery goes dead. I don't think you've seen the other latest acquisition either. But, uh, anyways, there's our door latch repair and our hinge repair. And we just kind of guesstimated where everything should be and can't ask for a door to close nicer than that. Anyways, this here is an 04 Ford with a 5.4 problem. I ended up buying that last year from the farmer I'd help with harvest. It's got a blown engine, so it kind of wheeled and dealed a bit, called it a season end bonus or something. I don't know how much of a bonus it is having a Ford with a blown engine, but anyways, we'll get it put together one of these days. The truck's in real nice shape. A little clear coat coming off one fender is all. That can be fixed. The rest of the, the truck's really nice. Larry yet, full leather. Anyways, this truck's even got the four original hubcaps and the spare. How about that? 
Anyways, let me see what else. Oh, we got a cart for our Hobart welder we finally bought to replace the ESOB or what was that? A, no, that was a Decastar that they stole. But anyway, so that's handy now, doing exhaust and a little bit of body work stuff. Got the gas on her. Anyways, and uh, the engine for the big toe is still sitting there. Haven't had a chance to put it in. But uh, we got our second oil tank put in here for the furnace. And uh, so that's that's nice to get a little bit more oil in here at once, keep it warm and let all the water and stuff settle out of it to use. So hopefully we'll have, well we should have about three months worth of oil with both of them full as long as it doesn't go to minus 40. Anyways, that's a brief update on what we've been up to. Been doing the regular repairs, of course, tire repairs and oil changes and other stuff I can't remember what all oh I think oh we done all oh, brake jobs you name it just typical stuff you do in a garage but anyways so lots of stuff to do but I figure I'd give everybody an update haven't had a video out in a while but anyways that's it for now we'll try to update you again for too long